two groups of vortexes, which are just like tornadoes, tornadoes, you know, spinning tornadoes that are pointing towards the center. As I highlight this object here, you'll see it, that yellow line, right? So there's, there's a bunch of those in there. There's actually 16 of them, and I'll highlight them all. There. And I'll render that just so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So that's, so they're all pointed towards the center, but they're arranged in what we call the linchpin configuration. I want to pretend like you never heard of that before. <laughs> so there's one on the top, and then three in groups of three around that are spaced at 120 degrees apart. And the tilt of these ones on the bottom here is 109.5 degrees in relationship to the top ones that are creating this flat space on the top and the bottom. And they're spaced at 120 degrees radially. And then inside the model is uh, three groups. Jamie, this two sounds playing simultaneously. Oh, that's, while he's that's doing my it? wife talking. We're in the kitchen, and he's oh, just explaining oh, okay, this over okay, Skype. Okay. Skype. This is over oh, okay. Skype. I was confused. <laughs> Go ahead. Up to a thousand pounds, from two point two pounds to a thousand pounds, and there's no gravity whatsoever in this model. There's no center attractor, so it's just vortexes and two two magnetic fields, a north and a south polarity, and one harmonic resonance, which is emanating a vibration in the field in this so that the particles will kind of interact and bounce around like smoke <coughs> or water waves and water and then when i hit play it does it all by itself using physics simulations so there's no animations at all in this model and when i play it this is what pops out holy fuck Wow. And then when I look down at the top, it makes the actual hexagon that NASA has observed on the top of Saturn. Without any gravity. And you'll see that the, you get a surface of the sphere on the inside with the heavier particles. So the colors... Oh,